The exhibition is amazing. What Zelda and everybody here has done has been unbelievable. They've brought not only artists and Brooklyn artists, but they've also brought the community together as one. I think the new gallery is a wonderful idea for Brooklyn because our neighborhood doesn't have uh, many galleries and then we are many artists in this community. It's wonderful. It's a really exciting endeavor that they're putting out and I'm happy to be a part of it. And this is a great place and a great night for this inaugural exhibition. I feel very privileged and um, very proud to be part of something that the community is doing and I applaud Zelda for opening up a gallery. Jack and Irvin, my co-directors, we work together. They work so hard to make this a success, to make it really, um, to make it special, to make it real and professional, uh, to make it like, um, like what we really wanted it to be. My name is Jack Franco. I'm a co-director of Z-Space Gallery. I'm really excited about what happened tonight. An amazing cross-section of local artists uh, just opened up. My name is Irvin Stafford. I'm one of the co-directors of the Z-Space Gallery. Um, and we just finished our first artist reception night for our first show. Um, and it went really amazingly. Uh, we had so many people come up to us and, and, and say how grateful they were to have something like this uh, in their neighborhood. I lived in Brooklyn for about 22 years. I lived actually around the corner from the store. I used to come here as a child and buy stuff from Zelda. I was born in Panama, Central America. I'm originally from Manchester, England. I'm originally from Port-au-Prince, Haiti. Uh, originally, I'm from Belarus. Belarus. I'm from Brooklyn. I was born in Brooklyn, and I've been in Brooklyn forever. <laughs> I've been in Brooklyn since 1965. And I've been here in Brooklyn or New York uh, for about 20 years. I've lived in Brooklyn for over 40 years. I came straight from Haiti into Brooklyn and I've never left Brooklyn. I love Brooklyn. <laughs> I don't think I can live anywhere else besides uh, Brooklyn, actually. The, the kind of show we put together here really is kind of a cross-section of kind of artistic output that's happening in Brooklyn right now. You know, we, we put out a call for submissions and we got pretty much uh, one of every type you know, of, of medium, of style, of uh, you know, cultural influence. I met a lot of interesting people, very talented people. I see here uh, a lot of very interesting artwork. I'm very excited. My name is Sue Darby. The name of the piece is A Dream Grows in Brooklyn. What I did was take a photo of a mural on the Daily News building that was their terminal in 1951. Downtown Red Hook, Brooklyn used to be very viable. And this is part of the history of Red Hook. And that they painted a mural on there that is now hidden and has been for many, many, many years. It just inspired me to capture the beauty that I saw there. Took a trowel <laughs> to the music. She appeared. I saw her and I defined her. Everything that I have experienced while going through the process that got me here today with, with Zelda and her husband Ron and Irvin and Jack and every, all the artists that work here has been with, so professional with style and grace. Oh, I feel honored to be part of this exhibition. Um, I'm interested in the unseen forces that underlie our reality. So, um, my work has a lot of symbolism. I'm interested in like the intangible aspects of life, what's, what's under the surface, and I, I try to bring a visual language to what that is. So the middle way is, is part of that. My name is Jean Fritz Cherry. The name of my artworks is Two Builders. To me, when I was a watching two birds build their own nets. I realized that uh, when we put together, we can do a lot of things. And that's the spot that the world really touched my heart. And then I never forget it because I saw that long, long, long time in my country land. And uh, this happened one time. Uh, the image came down, and then I draw it and I paint it. If you want to, I praise God for to the to the mind of this person who put up this idea to have a gallery. 
That's it. Uh, and he, he pants with his feet. He's a remarkable artist here. Who pants with his feet? This is the celebrity among us right here. My name is Nicole Titus. So I have two pieces here, a piece in the show that is called Bird on Lily Pond. And also I have a piece that I have donated uh, to be auctioned out for the earthquake relief fund in, of uh, Haiti, and it's called Roots Africana. We had this um, the show tonight. I think it went really great, and I'm very excited about it and for the future. And uh, hopefully we can um, continue this movement, you know, and build build Brooklyn's art world from the inside out. It's not just an art store, a little gallery in the back. It's the real thing. It's a wonderful beginning and a real good jump start for so many other wonderful events to occur. And I'm looking forward to the next one. I really am. The response has been overwhelming here. And it's wonderful to see so many different people, so many different countries and cultures and different backgrounds come together just to enjoy the Brooklyn artwork. It's something not one person can do, but it involves a bunch of people who are dedicated and who are uh, interested in making it work. And uh, I'm glad I'm part of it. Fantastic artists here. You really need to come to the Z space, really. Get your butt down here. <laughs> I think the artists all felt good about the the way we promoted them, which is what we're trying to do. We're trying to promote Brooklyn artists to be accepted and appreciated for the amazing talents that they are. So I'm very grateful for the whole thing. So you had a successful night. How do you guys feel? Tired. <laughs> 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 to be perfectly frank. <laughs> no, I'm my eyes open. Uh, here we are. Definitely pleased. Well, we you know, pleased? Yeah, I think that's true.